Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Sunday evening. Hope you're all having a good night. I am going to hop on here tonight and do a quick little project for you guys using a couple of our new products, which I'm really excited about. I just got them in the mail a couple days ago, and um, we're going to use a new surface tonight, and we are going to use a new transfer and we are going to use um, probably a new paste color. So um, if we get some people on here, you guys can help me decide what paste colors to use. I have a few options. So let me get this going here. Whoops. There we go. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Let me make that smaller. Hold on. See if I can make it smaller. Maybe. Scale, maybe? Um, sorry, guys. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> there. Okay. Now hopefully you can see that. All right. If you're on here, if you want to comment for me, just say hi so I can see. I don't have my computer tonight. There we go. I don't have my computer tonight, so if you're on here, comment for me. That would be awesome. I don't have a ton of battery on my phone, so we're just going to hope that it hope that it lasts. Okay, so these are, we've got two new things here. So we've got the new Grateful for Big Things, Little Things, and Everything in Between transfer. This is the one that you guys voted on. I posted a little poll yesterday with two pictures, two different transfers, and you guys picked this one overwhelmingly. So I'll do that every once in a while um, so you guys can pick which one you want to see. And then this is our new reclaimed palette board, and it's actually double-sided, which I'm really excited about. So today I'm going to do this side. This is technically the back side, but it has this really cool, it's kind of like a tray. And then the other side is a diagonal palette board, basically. And I love these because they're smooth. They're awesome. Okay, so we're going to do this side tonight. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wax my board because it is a wood surface. And if you're new to Chalk Couture, waxing is basically when you, um, you're gonna buff a little bit of wax on the surface. Um, if you're doing a surface like a regular chalkboard or a Chalk Couture chalkboard, you don't need to wax quite so much. But if you're gonna be doing, um, especially wood, you wanna make sure that you wax it so that when you peel off that transfer, it's not gonna peel splinters with it. Plus it's gonna make your transfer life last a little bit longer. So this is my min wax paste finishing wax. It's just a natural. Um, I got it at Home Depot. If you're hopping on here, say hi. I want to make sure I'm in the right place or somebody give me a thumbs up. Just give me a thumbs up. I don't have my computer and on my software, I can't see how many people are actually on. I can only see comments. So you just buff on a little bit of wax. It doesn't have to be a lot. You don't want to see it. If you can see it, you've got too much on there. And you need to buff it a little bit more. It just gives it a nice smooth finish as well that I really like. Okay. Got my little sunflower I'm gonna use. I couldn't decide what to put on it. I didn't have, I wanted to put like a cute little wreath up here and I didn't have one that was small enough. So if I don't like the sunflower, I'll take that off and I'll put a wreath on it instead. Once I get one. Okay. Yay, we got a thumbs up. Okay, good, I'm in the right place. Um, if you, are interested in my VIP group comment VIP oh yay Amy did um, Amy I just saw your request come through actually so I will approve that um, 
as soon as I'm done here. It popped up just as I was getting ready to go live. Okay, So I will do that for you. Um, we also have a sales group. If you are interested in becoming a designer with Chalk Couture, comment kit at any time and I will send you some information. Okay, so I'm gonna fuzz this transfer first because it's the first time I'm using it and um, it is a wood surface. Okay. I'm just gonna eyeball this, press it down. Got that. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. If you like what you see or if you know somebody who you think would like this, if they're a DIY crafty kind of person, feel free to hit the share button. Shares are appreciated. Share it to your page, share it to your group. Doesn't matter. Okay, I've got some different colors here. Because I want to keep with like, the yellow and green theme because I love sunflowers. So let's see. I'm trying to decide. If you have any ideas, let me know. But I want to do the words that I want to stand out the most. I'm going to do those in yellow. So I might do little things in yellow. And then I'll do these accent things in white, maybe. And then, hmm, maybe I'll do grateful for and in between in one green. Maybe I should just do three. I don't know. Somebody comment. Hmm. I'm worried about this showing up on this board. I don't know. Guys, let me know. So should I do the dark green, the light green, or what? I know I'm going to do the white. I'm going to do the accent pieces in white. So I'll start with that. And if you're on here, comment and let me know what I should do for the other colors. darker green only. That's kind of what I was thinking. Oops. I'm going to squeegee that, peel it off. Light green wood. On. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Don't think it's going to show up enough. I love it's a brand new color, it's sage. I don't think it's gonna show enough and I don't want it to look like words are missing. <laughs> so I'm doing the paste and peel method here which is basically I paste a little section then I peel it back because you don't want your paste to dry on the transfer before you peel it off. So if you're new to, if you haven't seen Chalk Couture, you haven't done it before, that's kind of the first big piece of advice. Anytime I'm doing parties, that is, if there's one piece of advice I could give, it would be that. Do not let the paste dry before you peel it off. Another thing is to make sure it is a light enough coat or a thin enough coat that you can see the design underneath. If you can't see the design underneath, you need to squeegee off all that extra. Save that paste, because seriously, one jar of this paste lasts forever. Hey Barbie, thanks for tuning in. My feed is delayed too, guys, so if I don't respond right away, that's fine. I think it's like 15 seconds, something like that. 
Okay, so we're not doing sage. I'm going to do little things in yellow, and then I'm going to do all of the capital letters in green. This is Garden Herb. And you'll notice some of the pigments, um, because they're natural pigments that they use, some of them, they have kind of a discoloration in them. You just got to mix it up. That's all. Just give it a little mix. The nice thing about waxing boards as well, typically wood boards, if you mess up, the nice thing about using our chalk boards is that you can wipe it off if you mess up or if you want to change out your design. Wood boards are a little bit more permanent, but if you have waxed the board and you make a mistake, if you get a bleed or something like that, a lot of times you can uh, wipe it off with a Clorox wipe and because it has that wax under it, comes off a lot easier. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? And I'm just going to lay it back down. Paste and peel makes it so much easier because then you're not rushing. If you try and do the whole thing, by the time you get to the end, what you started with is probably going to be dry when you go to peel it off. Um, if it doesn't go through to your surface, you know that you didn't go fast enough and it dried. So paste and peel is the way to go, especially with a transfer like this. It's really easy to do one line, move on, do the next line. Now, if you're going to do it all in one color, you can just do the whole thing. You don't have to be super meticulous about it. So and a good example would be like right here, this S. I can't see the S through it, so I need to squeegee off that extra. So you want to be able to see the whole thing. It's just like a screen print t-shirt if you've ever done that before or seen that. Ta-da! Here's the next. Oh, no! Mm, okay, I'm going to have to go back and fix that white because it peeled off on me. That's okay. I probably should dry that first. I love this yellow. It's so bright. It's so bright and so fun. Always scrape off the extra in your jar. There's that. And then we'll go back to the green. I used a cabinet door I got at the restore and I painted and waxed it because I did the big squeeze the day I transferred on it. You glad you waxed it. Yes. I have done um, cabinets from the restore as well. And those are like actual real cabinets, they're not made to be chalked on. <laughs> Whereas these were manufactured to be obviously to be chalked on, so they're a little bit smoother. But you get a board, or not a board, a cabinet, like an actual cabinet door sometimes, especially older ones. You get splinters in them. I have one that my transfer stuck to it too well. That wasn't good, but wax, wax, wax all the time, especially if you are doing wood. Yay, Amy, I'm glad you love it so far. Ta-da. 
Sherry, I hope I'm saying that right. Come in and VIP. I will get you that link as soon as I am done here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So you'll notice that, so what happened here was, so I peeled it up and then I laid it back down um, and it peeled off because I didn't lay it back down right. It peeled off a little bit of that. So now this transfer is washable. You can wash it, you can reuse it anywhere from eight to 12 times. It just depends on how well you take care of it. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I have just a little pan over here. I'm gonna wipe off, ugh. I'm gonna wipe off just the top part. And then I'm gonna dry this. So I'm gonna dry this with a hair dryer, And then I'm gonna lay that piece back down here and I'm gonna go over it again. I'm just gonna wash this. You can wash them in a sink. You can do, you know, in a pan like this. It's up to you. Usually, if I want this big, I would wash it in the sink. Um, but since I'm here, okay. These paper towels suck, you guys. They're like the cheapo patterned paper towels. I just grabbed them and I wasn't thinking and I get little I get little like paper towel fuzzies all over my transfers okay just a few hiccups just a little ones I don't mind it well because the transfer actually it has I get a lot of people that ask like well how do you how does it have that distressed look or what did you do to make you know the little like the little spots in the letters that is made that's designed in the transfer to make it look rustic distressed however you want to call it um so a little bit is okay but that pulled off quite a bit so let's just clean this transfer so I just cleaned off the top part. I'm gonna dry this really quick because when I lay it back down, I don't want it to accidentally peel up anything else. And I'm gonna use this too. Ooh, there's a fly in here. Okay. It would probably help if I plugged it in, huh? <laughs> Maybe. The other thing I love about this stuff is that it dries in minutes, so easy. One other thing I was gonna mention, so this yellow is getting kind of thick. If you have a paste that's getting kind of thick, spray a little bit of water in it. Technically, you should use distilled water. I don't, I'm, I'm naughty, I know. Um, and then just let it sit. And so the next time you use it, just mix it up and you're good to go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to lay this down here. Maybe we'll just do it this way. There. And then let's see if I can line this up. Actually, let's just do this. Hold on. So you can see what I did. So I just, I put it on the transfer, or not the transfer, the backer paper. It's kind of hard to tell. 
So I'm going to line up the letters. And if I line, ah, line up the letters, it should be pretty much right. We're going to go with that. I'm going to redo that one too. Okay. There we go. a little better. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to spray this. Spraying it right away, if you're not going to wash it right away, just makes it easier to wash it later. That's all. Okay. That over there. Okay. That looks so much better. I love it. Okay. Now, um, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I love that. I love the colors. I'm glad you said only do the dark. I think that looks really cute. Okay, I'm going to grab my little glue gun here. Okay, I think I talk about this thing every single time I use it, but if you don't have a Ryobi glue gun, you need to get yourself one because they are amazing. It is battery operated. You never have to worry about cords, it tipping over, anything like that. Okay, I am going to glue down this piece first. So this is just a random sunflower I found. I have a drawer basically full of just stuff. So it's just an old like plastic Oh, that's too much. Ooh, there we go. An old plasticky fake sunflower. Okay, make sure that's where I want it. Just gonna lay it down like that. Now, if they would invent a glue gun that didn't have like stringies. Because even the Ryobi gun still has strings. Little glue gun strings. There we go. Did I not get that under there? I can't see very well. I have noticed that the glue that comes out of this thing is way hotter than one of those little glue guns. So you gotta be really careful not to burn yourself. Okay, we'll call that good. And then this. It's gonna go in the middle. I'm just going to put a whole bunch on there. I was going to tie a bow, and then I realized that I suck at tying bows. You guys will figure that out, too, if you haven't watched me that much. I am not good at bow tying. I'll get there. So the only thing is that... If you're going to add dimension to your project, so if you're going to add like a bow or something and you wanted to make this, because remember it's double-sided, 
um, it needs to be something that's shallow enough if you're gonna hang it on a wall. Now, if you're just gonna like put it on a mantle or set it up somehow, then you don't have to really worry about it. I think that's on there. Yep, it's still wet, but. Just get it on there good. And I was gonna add like other sunflowers on it and then I thought, mm, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna do one. Okay, ta-da, what do you guys think? Zoom in. Isn't that cute? I love this transfer. I do, I do, I do. Super, super cute. Okay. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Um, if you like it, give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. Because I like it. If you don't like it, don't tell me. I think it's cute. I don't know. I might keep this one. I'm all about the sunflowers. I might keep this one. Let's see. Yay! Amy liked it. Awesome. All right. Um, another little piece of advice. So something I've found. I know a lot of people wait or they, you know, wipe off their squeegees right away. I find that if you actually wait until they're a little bit dry, it basically like flakes off of your squeegee. And I think it's easier to clean your squeegees that way. You can just like peel it off. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, okay. I feel like there was something else I needed to tell you guys. I don't remember. Um, comment VIP. If you want to get into my VIP group, I will send you the link comment um sale if you want to get into our sales group comment kit if you are interested in becoming a designer with chalk couture because <sighs> there's seriously all sorts of fun perks and i would be more than happy to share that with you if you are interested in making your own awesome gorgeous home decor so cute. All right. Got to remember to turn off my glue gun. Run my battery down. Okay. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, I will be back here this week later on where I am going to do probably the other side of this board. So I will do this one. You can go either way. We'll see which transfer I decide to do. I might do like a fall one or a, ooh, I might do Halloween. Hold on. Okay, you guys have to decide which one I should do. Um, hold on. I've got that one. Dang it, I don't know where it's at. Hmm. All right, well, I have another Halloween one I might do. I'll have to see. I might post it. Oops, sorry. Totally shook the table. Um, and see which one you guys want to do because I'm loving the Halloween stuff that they came out with this year. So maybe this one. That would be cute. And then I could put some like little plastic spiders on it or something. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty. I'm going to lo uh, log off here, you guys. And anybody who commented, I will get you those links as soon as I get everything cleaned up. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my little project tonight. I love it. The more I look at it, I'm like, mm, I'm going to keep this for myself. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I love it. I love sunflowers. Sunflowers me every time. So thanks everyone for tuning in. I will see you guys later this week. Bye.